In the video, I'm going to talk about how a uh, lion's mane mushroom gave me a traumatic brain injury, and it's confirmed by a brain spect. So the summary of uh, results, so the report is uh, basically it's a brain spect, which is completed to assess brain function. Um, and that was completed a few years after I consumed lion's mane mushroom uh, and got injured from doing so. Uh, key findings uh, in the report, they show decreased and near absent blood flow in multiple brain regions. There's clear evidence of brain damage in the frontal and temporal lobes. The conclusion of this report scan basically shows brain damage and traumatic brain injury. And it indicates the reason I have severe life-changing symptoms. The backstory of this is I consumed lion's mane mushroom for two weeks in November of 2021. Every brand has an impact on uh, everybody, but the brand I took was Ohm Mushrooms. And because of this injury, I co-founded a recovery group that has 10,000 members, and you can find it at that link. There's hundreds of personal anecdotal testimonials of people who have been injured by this substance. Um, yeah, the summary of it is it was in fact a brain injury and I was not able to help myself because of that. The people around me um, think, thought it was just in my mind, it was just uh, something I was thinking up, but it was in fact a brain injury and it's confirmed in this SPECT report. So here are the scan results. This is a screenshot of um, the report. So routine SPECT brain was obtained. Um, it's showing the anterior temporal lobes show a large amount of generalized decreased perfusion. Um, and in addition, there's a large size superimposed focal perfusion defect in the medial left temporal lobe. Um, you can read the rest. The right inferior frontal, uh, inferior frontal lobe shows a large size focal perfusion defect. Um, this is seen on a background of mild, moderate, generalized decreased perfusion in the anterior aspect of the right prefrontal cortex. Uh, pause the video, you can read the rest. This is not normal. These are abnormal results. The screenshot of the second uh, part of the report, um, I'm just gonna uh, read what's highlighted. So it says, in addition, the focal nature of the perfusion defects mentioned above is the most common appearance for traumatic brain injury to be seen on the brain spect. So thus, in balance of probabilities, the above mentioned findings in combination with the provided history represents previous traumatic brain injury. There's the proof, guys. This proves lion's mane can give you a chemically induced TBI. So if you've been damaged by lion's mane, the only two reports that will likely show something or the two scans that will show something are a brain spect or a functional MRI. Uh, I've done numerous traditional MRIs and they didn't show anything for me. Other side effects of lion's mane. So lion's mane is likely a 5AR inhibitor like finasteride and it can cause symptoms of a condition called post finasteride syndrome. Post finasteride syndrome is a condition that some men experience after stopping the use of the 5 ar inhibitor medication called finasteride um, and pers uh, symptoms include persistent sexual neurological and psychological symptoms such as erectile dysfunction depression anxiety and cognitive cognitive impairment so some frequently asked questions why should you believe any of this so number one i have no incentive with any of this um, unlike some sellers of the supplement uh, two, there are hundreds of stories posted in the, the group, Lion's Mean Recovery, I'll link below. And the brain spec report is proof itself. Um, another question people ask is, I've been taking Lion's Mean for months and years and I'm okay. Why didn't it affect me? Well, to be honest with you, several people have been damaged from taking it, um, you know, who have been taking it for months or years. Some people have taken it once or even for a week. Um, in my case, I took it for two weeks, but some people uh, posted stories that they've taken it for years and got damaged, even after years. So it doesn't matter your time frame. Third most important question, um, I've been injured from taking it. What do I do? So number one, consult with your doctor and then post your story in the group at that link here. Um, and then look up some solutions under the wiki. So there are 10,000 plus members on this recovery group for lion's mane mushroom injury. 
there's a link share your story please um, and to be honest with you guys my only incentive with this video is to help others I have no other incentive um, this never should have happened to me but it's gonna keep happening because lion's mane is being put in everything teas coffees energy drinks I lost a lot um, destroyed my family over sixty thousand dollars in cash um, through treatments and compounds you name it there was a woman I was absolutely in love with and planned to marry and I was with her for 4.5 sorry four and a half years and that relationship was gone because people don't understand it um, people don't you look fine on the outside but people don't understand the suffering you're going through I had a beautiful life before this guys um, and that's why I make these videos to help people avoid this happening to them and uh, the video is dedicated to my family, Ole, Radin, Sam, James, and Alex Kiko. Thank you guys for never giving up on me. I truly wouldn't have come this far without you. So um, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Please share this video. Um, please help spread awareness because this should not be happening and there should be awareness of Lion's Mane Mushroom Injury.